वेलकम बैक लेट स्टार्ट बाई अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट इज क्यूरेशन द डिक्शनरी मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड क्यूरेटर इज अ पर्सन हु मैनेज ओवरसीज और टेक्स केयर ऑफ अ कलेक्शन दिस कुड बी अ कलेक्शन ऑफ पेंटिंग्स स्कल्पचर्स और डिजिटल आर्टिफैक्ट लाइक कॉन्टेंट वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दैट अ क्यूरेटर एड्स अ लेयर ऑफ मीनिंग टू द कलेक्शन ही और शी लेंस अ डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव एंड एड्स context that makes the collection more meaningful to the target audience another way to look at it is to distinguish a curator from an aggregator an aggregator simply bundles content without adding any personal point of view think of google news it is simply a collection of news items that can be collected automatically using algorithmic filters for example you could compile news on a particular place or a particular person or an event using google news but google news does not add any other layer of meaning to whatever it aggregates a user has to use own insight and discretion to interpret the news to form an opinion so why is curation gaining ground according to eric schmidt chairman of google every two days now we create as much information as we did from the dawn of civilization up until 2003 that's something like 5 exabytes of data let this sink in what we are saying is that the amount of information we collected from big bang to 2003 which is around 5 exabytes of data we are creating equal amount of information every 2 days this is borne out by the fact that today every minute 72 hours of video is uploaded on youtube every day 350 million tweets are sent on twitter every month 850 million users actively use facebook finding knowledge in the already massive and still growing digital data is literally like finding a needle in a haystack yet never before has it been easier to learn provided you are good at finding the right resources learning the art of curation enables you to find knowledge pearls in the ocean of data curation skills can help you accelerate your learning and that of your learners teachers today can benefit enormously if they supplement what they create with curation Typically teachers create lesson plans teaching content assessments and use all this in their classroom teaching Now with a plethora of good quality content available on the internet tons of it for free a teacher can significantly augment the learning resources that he or she can make available to his or her learners Curating quality content that is available in multiple formats like text video animation podcast games simulations helps address the learning needs of different types of students from those who need more help and guidance to those who need more challenging tasks or students with different types of intelligences one good example of a collection of curated resources is the brain picking website this website uh, is run by maria popova who has become quite a uh, quite a famous curator now and in her own words on this website she curates cross disciplinary interestedness according to maria in a world of informational abundance content curation is a new kind of authorship curation facilitates guided curiosity As I mentioned earlier I run a company called Timeless Life Skills where we develop blended learning solutions on life skills essential for thriving in the 21st century On this website timelesslifeskills.co.uk there are tutorials and books in the form of presentations videos ebooks all the stuff that I have created on life skills like learning to learn learning to think learning to tell financial literacy learning to be and more so this is a collection of learning resources that i have created while as a curator 
I curate content on on the same topic of life skills for twenty first century on Facebook. This is facebook dot com slash life skills. I browse the internet, and when I find a resource that is relevant and interesting, I share on this Facebook page. While sharing, uh, I also add my perspective, which could be a summary or a short explanation of why I consider the the resource important from the perspective of twenty first century skills. Besides what I curate for professional reasons, I also curate as a parent. I have a son who is eleven years old, and I'm always looking out for learning resources that I can knit into the learning moments at home. As an example, we have used this. a brilliant course on justice presented by harvard professor michael sandel to have invigorating discussions at home we listen to a case presented by professor sandel pause the video and have a lively debate at home about what would be our verdict on the case and why then we listen to the discussion professor sandel has with his students and hear what the professor has to say of course some parts i have to explain in simpler terms to my son Another example is the Secret Millionaires Club website. On this website there are animations on 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 financial literacy and one of the character is actually played by the master himself, Mr. Warren Buffett, who explains how kids can create value. The idea is that as a learner facilitator you need to first figure out what is the learning objective you wish to achieve. The learning objective could be imparting knowledge or helping learn a life skill or understand emotions and dispositions or whatever else you want the learner to appreciate and understand and then based on the pedagogic profile of your learner you can curate learning resources and thread them into your own teaching experience in summary in this tutorial on what is curation we looked at who is a curator how is a curator different from an aggregator why learning the art of curation is becoming imperative for teachers as well as for learners and how teachers today need to be both creators as well as curators of learning content